Okay, today's workout is gonna be quick 30 minute body weight cardio only. We're gonna start with the warm up. Let's get started. Just shuffle it out side to side. Abs are nice and tight. It's gonna be all body weight, all cardio. You wanna get that body nice and warm. Tap and reach it up right here. Reach it across. Hamstring curl, reach pull. Tap and reach it up. Four more. We're gonna reach it across right here. Abs are in nice and tight. Hamstring curl, reach pull. Sink down a little deeper now. Hold it here. Four more. Jump a rope right here. Side to side. Abs are in nice and tight. Let's squat down and up. Get down there nice and deep. One more, four, three, two, hold it down and pull. Try to sink down a little lower, press into those heels. Now hold it here and get into a plank position and alternate bringing your hand, or sorry, your foot to your hand. Alternating, warming up those hips. Warming up that core. Last one. And bring it in. Give me a little football run here. It's a great way to get that heart rate up. Take those feet out wide. Lifting those knees up a little bit, really getting that core. Eight, seven, six. We're gonna get that upper body a little warmer. Hold that squat and punch it out. Gonna get that upper body a little warmer. Nice, strong core. Get that punch in and out really quick. Eight more is eight, seven, six, four, three. Give me a bob and weave. Eight more. All right, so get ready for this cardio fusion class. We're gonna do a little bit of everything. You're going to see some kickboxing infused in here also. Let's squat with the knee up. Remember your knee is your chamber before you extend to a kick. So when you're ready, kick it out. Getting that heart rate up, starting to build that intensity. In four more, we're going to just do the kick. Still low impact. Now just a kick right here. You're gonna bring that knee up before you extend it. So from the side, you're gonna get the knee up before you extend it and strike. Abs are nice and tight. Push it here, come on. We've got a little break between the intervals. You want to make sure you keep the body moving. Four more. Shuffle it out. Catch your breath. Next one is going to be pulsing squats. And we're going to add a jump in a little bit. Let's start with those pulses. So you're just going to pulse it down from the side. 
Gonna drive those hips back. Nice and quick. Now if you want, add that jump. You're gonna try to stay nice and low here. Soft landing. Remember, you can always go back to those pulses. You wanna pump those arms. Four more. Shuffle it out. Catch your breath. Bring your feet together and jack it out. Good old fashioned jumping jack. Now we're going to make this a little harder. We're going to sink down a little lower. So it's going to be out, down, out, down. So you can stick with the regular jumping jacks. We're going a little lower here, if you want. Chest is tall. Using a few more muscles here, going to that squat, going a little deeper. Last one, give me a football run. I'm going to grab some water. You grab water when you need it. Next one, line tap. So we're going to go deep. You're going to keep your foot in one spot as you transfer right to left. So it's going to be here and here for low impact. You're still going deep. You're still keeping your chest up. You're still reaching for the ground. So if you want to make it harder, I'm going to be right here. And if you want to make it a little harder, add those windmill arms. You go into a squat here. Good job. You can even march here. 
That's fine. Good job. Keeping that heart rate up. We're gonna do 180 degree squat jump. You can do a football run side to side here and keep your hands right here so you're getting that twist. Otherwise, you're gonna drop it down and switch. Passing right between your feet. Next, you pick up the pace if you want. Nice soft landing. Drop those hips. Moving the feet at one time. Four, three, two, and one. Whew. Good job. I'm going to grab a little more water. I'm going to bring it close to me. Next one, drop squat. Remember, you're going to keep the chest up. Your option would be that side to side squat again. So you can do another set of those with or without the jump. Drop squat, feet together. I'm gonna drop down and in. Now, you can really pick up the pace here. From the side, you're dropping. You can go a little bigger with the arms. Sit back. Four, three, two, one. March out. Remember, keep that feet, the feet moving. I'm gonna check my time. We're good. Almost there. Next one's a skater. We're gonna stay up for this one and reach across. We're gonna do a one little one-legged squat. Here we go. Transferring that weight is one of my favorites. And we'll build on this one. So this is something you can always come back to. Dragging that foot behind from the side. You'll see my chest is up. So I'm trying to get down there. The more you move laterally, the better. The deeper you go, the harder it'll be. a little bit. It's a good transition move. Now, 
I'm on carpet. So it sounds like gym floor. I'd be able to go a little faster. You might be able to go a little faster, depending where you are. You work with what you have, and you stay safe. That's the name of the game. After tight, find that center. So you're still in the same spot. Your feet are doing all the moving. Your legs are doing all the work. Your core is fired. Four, three, two, and one. March it out. Bring that knee drive with the right leg forward. Remember, you can do the low impact. The high, you can mix the two. Three, two, and one. You're gonna drop the down, knee drop. Nice athletic arm. You can add that little hop. Breathe. Push into that right heel, or whatever heel is forward for you. You want to drive that knee up. Up. Find that center. Four. Three. Two. One. Ooh. Feeling those legs, I know. Ooh. All right. Next one. Is a little sumo squat lunge, sumo squat lunge, but we're not too deep because there is a little jump to this one or keeping it light on your feet. So I'm gonna be here, jump, lunge. Now you can add the arms. So you can see I'm not too deep with a little bit of that lunge, but you are having that slight toe turnout. Not much of a jump, but you're kind of picking the feet up. Really use that shoulder. Use the upper body when you can. Four, three, two, and one. March down. Good job. Next one is going to be a high low to the right. So it's, in essence, it's a squat jump, but we're adding a little more intention with that upper body. Left hand stays by your face. You can do this with or without a jump. So you're gonna go low, high. So you can stay right here. If you are gonna do the jump, you're gonna jump from the bottom. Right back, right there, just like that. Imagine hitting somebody in the head and the knees. You can really pick it up. Punch it high and low. Use that shoulder. Use that right oblique. Four. Three. Two. One. March it out. Couple of shoulder rolls. Switch up. Before we do the other side. We're just going to do jacks with a speed bag. So we're going to take those legs out and in, or you can do this with a tap. So you can stay right here, keeping those arms up. When you're ready, break out to that jumping jack. Now, those taps are fine. Just go a little deeper if you want. You can go here. You can keep the arms up a little harder if you like. You want to hold those abs in nice and tight. Imagine hitting that speed back. Four, three, two, and one. March down. We're going to do that high low on this side. Notice we're staying up most of the time. We are going to be doing some cardio on the floor towards the end and we're gonna stay pretty much down in that plank position. All right, and we're gonna build on some of these. So think planks and burpees. So this arm is gonna go up and down. Remember, don't rush it. Whatever you're trying to work on 
If you're working on going deeper in the squat, maybe you want to slow it down. But if you want to add that jump, still want you to go deep. Come on. Strong. Keep this arm by your chin. Strong punch from your shoulder. Get that definition. Hold that core in. Pick it up. Four, three, two, and one. Woo. All right. Good job. Next one is going to be that drop squat again with a turn. So we're going to turn if you want. Otherwise, just stay front. And you can stay with just the drop squat. So remember the drop squat was here. So we're going to go here. Keep going. Did you keep going? Really working those inner and outer thighs. Now, one, 
down, twist, twist, down, twist, twist. You kind of have to think about the movement. It's two twists, but you can just keep it to singles. Four, three, two, one. Good job. I like the single myself. All right, I'm not done yet. All right, we're gonna do set up squat for us, not with a push up, but you can always add that in. Then we're gonna do that skater with a one foot burpee. I said we would be building onto the skater. I'll show you a variation if you don't like the burpee. So let's get to the uh, squat press first. So you have those feet wide as you want, not so wide. We're gonna go down, we're gonna use our legs to get to the floor, out and in, jump up. That's all it is. Remember, you want to jump from the floor. Two more. Last one. Woo. It's getting real. All right. Skater. You can just do a low skater. You can do a skater to a little jump. Here's the variations. You're going to skate, knee up. See how that little knee is going up? And you can add a little jump. That's fine. You can do that one. We're going to do a one skater to one foot burpee. You can do it from the side so you can see. So you're going to skate. You're going to come up on that one foot. You're going to pull that knee into your chest. Pull that knee in. Get that knee in. Last two, last one. Woo. Good job. Good work. So I said the last few, we're gonna be involved with the floor. Two more. First one is going to be either a mountain climber or a wide mountain climber. Ready? And then we're gonna do plank punches and we're done. All right, so regular mountain climber, you know the drill. You're gonna be here, driving that knee in. You can also cross it. Just make sure you drive the knee in. You don't have to do it with a jump, you can alternate. Wait till that foot comes back before moving the other. The next one, that we're gonna do is that wide. So just like we did in the warm up, you're gonna have that foot come to your hand and you're gonna switch. And then you're gonna switch. But every time, ready? Here we go. Right, so we're nice and tight. Feel those shoulders. Last set. Last two. Oh. Big shoulder roll. Woo. Remember, you can always hold plank whenever you need to. That'll keep that heart rate up. Or just do them low impact. All right. As promised, this is a great way to get the heart rate up without jumping. We're gonna be in a high plank. We're gonna punch forward. And that's it. Then we cool down for a couple of minutes and we're out. How did you do? Proves the point. You don't need a lot of time. 
we're gonna be a little over 30 by the time we're cooled down. All right, so we're gonna get into a plank. I'm gonna do this one from the side. Establish that plank. Pull your belly in. I like my feet a little wider for these so my hips don't move quite so much. We're gonna punch out. Right out in front. The eyes are gonna be at the floor. If you can be slower, fast, it really doesn't matter. As long as you're concentrating, I'm pulling in that core. Keeping those hips as quiet as possible. You're gonna really work the shoulders here as well. Nice and strong. Abs are in tight. Couple more. Last one. Good job coming in. Give me a slow squat down and up. We're going down with two. Good. Let's alternate your reach. And the other side. So from the side, your arm comes up as an extension of your back. Really get it up there. Slowing down that heart rate. Last one. Good job. Now keep your hands on your knees. Feet still apart. We're gonna come down to a nice flat back, bend your knees, scoop it, and roll it up. Big shoulder roll. Do that again. Shoulder roll. A couple more times, and then we'll focus on stretching the legs. Last one. Good job. All right, just bring that right arm across. Bring that left arm across. Nice and easy. Good job. Take your right foot back. We're gonna get it into a stretch here for the calf. You're gonna press that back heel down. We're gonna stand for this one. You can also do a runner stretch if you wanted to. You can come all the way down. Come forward, lock back down, roll it all the way up, and go to the other side. So we got definitely some core in that workout, some upper body with the punches. So total body should be tingling right now. Come forward, deep breath up. As you exhale, bring your left foot forward. Stretch out that hamstring. We worked a lot in that lower chain of the body. We worked a lot in the calves, the ankles. So you want to really stretch those out and pull that toe in. Bring the chest down. Roll it up. Feel free to hold these stretches longer. Hips up. Roll it up, toe. Roll it up. Grab. Let's just take the arms behind you, press the back of the hand down, tilt the pelvis, open the chest. This is a great stretch for the shoulders and the chest. Let's reverse it, closing up the chest, opening up the back. Really feel that C shape in your spine. You can take this to the right and left a little bit, feels great on your obliques. Bring it all the way up. Stand tall. Nice and tall. And release it. Take a deep breath up. Bring your hands to your heart. And thank you for joining me today. Say something positive to yourself. Give yourself a little pat on the back for doing this. And when you do something healthy for yourself, 
you do something for others, for your loved ones, and the greater community. I do believe if you're feeling great and healthy in your own body and your mind and your spirit, you go on and do great things for others. Namaste. Have a great night, everybody.